Hey guys, this is Exam Help, and I'm just going to go over hemoglobin. So I'm just going to go over what hemoglobin is, the role of it, and uh, what happens with hemoglobin as it goes through the body. So first of all, um, hemoglobin is made up of four polypeptide chains, and uh, these chains are called into an alpha helix. Uh, the quaternary structure of these uh, of this protein is that all four uh, polypeptides are then linked together to form an almost spherical shape. Each polypeptide has its own heme group, heme being spelt like this, and this is basically all you need to know is it contains an Fe2 plus ion, so iron 2 plus iron ion sorry so iron 2 plus ion and then one of these uh, ions can combine with one oxygen molecule so as a uh, each polypeptide chain has its own heme group therefore four oxygen molecules can combine to uh, one hemoglobin molecule so four on one hemoglobin. So what does hemoglobin do? It transports oxygen around the body and we want hemoglobin to do two things to be efficient at doing so. So it, first, it must first readily associate, so readily bind with oxygen at the gas exchange surface. So the gas exchange surface of the human body being the lungs. So if we want the hemoglobin to go around the body it must readily bind, so easily bind to oxygen at the uh, lungs where uh, oxygen is uh, the oxygen concentration is the highest so it must readily dissociate from oxygen at the tissues requiring it so dissociate means just like letting go giving up oxygen so what tissues require it those tissues respiring the most as respiration needs oxygen to happen so if tissues are respiring a lot then it's going to need a lot of oxygen so we want the hemoglobin to give up its oxygen to these respiring tissues so that these tissues can continue to respire so you might look at these and say hey these actually completely contradict each other you can't have a molecule that readily associates with oxygen and then also readily dissociates from oxygen but this actually does happen with hemoglobin it's it's amazing really so under certain conditions hemoglobin will change its affinity so ability to bind with oxygen at different uh, in different conditions it basically changes the shape of itself in the presence of certain substances so for example carbon dioxide if carbon dioxide is high then respiration is going to be uh, high as well so it's going to change its affinity so it doesn't have a very high high affinity to it so we're going to go into affinity and uh, what affinity really is so as you can see here uh, what what affinity is is if it has a high affinity so if a hemoglobin molecule has a high affinity for oxygen it's going to bind with oxygen readily. However, if hemoglobin has a low affinity for oxygen, it's going to give up the oxygen more readily. So, this means it's going to uh, find it more difficult to take up the oxygen as well. So, why does this happen? What uh, what can we see that uh, we know that ha this happens? so where this happens in practice okay so if you go up uh say if you're climbing everest very high isn't it so there's going to be a lot less oxygen up there because if you go up high then there's uh, a less a lower concentration of oxygen so say if you were a an alpaca living in peru so there's uh, so you're very high up on the mountains there's going to be a lot less oxygen so you're going to have to find uh, you're going to have to get a hemoglobin molecule 
which has a really high affinity for oxygen so that uh, you can actually take in the oxygen the oxygen will bind to the hemoglobin and then only give it to the tissues that need it most this can only really happen with uh, animals that have um, uh, lower m metabolic rates so that the each tissues uh, each tissue will get enough oxygen but it does happen so alpacas uh, living on high mountains in Peru will get uh, a lot will have uh, hemoglobin molecules with much higher affinity for oxygen however an organism with a high metabolic rate it needs to release oxygen readily into its tissues so if you're a let's say a sprinter you're gonna need um, you're gonna have a high metabolic rate or maybe even a marathon runner you're gonna you're gonna have a high metabolic rate so your hemoglobin needs to be able to release the oxygen into your tissues so that you can keep running so you can keep going so that the muscles will keep respiring and uh, producing energy so that you'll keep moving so you're going to have a uh, hemoglobin molecule that releases oxygen easily and therefore has a low affinity for oxygen so uh, let's have a look into why hemoglobins have different affinities so uh, when we want to load uh, oxygen into the hemoglobin hemoglobin will combine with the oxygen and this is called loading or associating and this will take place in the lungs however when hemoglobin releases its, its oxygen this is called unloading or dissociating and this happens in the tissues that need the oxygen to respire so this is why we need different hemoglobins with different affinities so that a loading and un unloading can take place Otherwise, we'd only do one or the other if it didn't have different affinities. And that's just an introduction to hemoglobin in our short video. That was exam help. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.